back to the channel is me and Junior Hall. If you did not subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and keep updating all the new videos that I release on to the channel. So uh, today we're gonna take a look at these are new products we got from Atherin is on a ready to roll line in HO scale. These are 60 foot FMC Hop Cube boxcar. So we have the dispatch job here under the profit ground. It's pretty cool. Also, we have this one here, and we have a non patch job here. Now, also, we have CSX, you see that there, and we have the com Conro slash NYC here. So, let's get these open up. We're gonna compare the model to the prototype at the same time. Look at the details as you know it is towards the prototype if we can find the picture online. So let's see what we can get into. Now we'll open up the box here. Now what came in the box was the newsletter here, as usual. Then also you come with the parts list here. Once the information here on the back as usual. And we got that clamshell clear case here. Let's take this out. Soft wrapping the model. Soft plastic. Take this model out here. Let's see what we got. The FMC 60 foot hop cube box car. The FMC stamps for food machinery chemical. So take a look at the detail you get with this car. So up top on each car, you do have a set of height written in certain locations here on the top left and here in the center uh, come down here paint look pretty good now you have these uh, ribs here on the car information here written on the cars and coming down you have your uh, short ladder horizontal grab iron handbrake handbrake housing chain detail etch metal walkway tack board and a cut lever and a plastic mccurry couplers then take a look at the details on the side of the car and yeah separate apply ladder stair up door detail tack board and more ladder stair up with a cut lever at the end now we take a look under the car here that you have brake detail here like for uh, rods slack adjuster and more rods here um, the floor under the floor is detailed here with the ribs now uh, you got a brake cylinder brake piston chain detail also another brake rod for the handbrake that's connected to the handbrake wheel itself but it's not connected but assimilated that it is then you got the air reservoir and the control valve with the piping going between the two now what's missing is you know, a little bit more piping going from the control valve to the brake cylinder but that's something you can add later down the line uh, if you like now looking at the trucks now under for prime for grime here you see that's like a truck quote gray color but for regular cars it still maintain the black uh, trucks with 36 inch wheels all metal we looked up the road name road number for this uh, particular model to find the prototype and we came up with two photos one in 2006 and another in 2013 so you're gonna do in the 2006 photo here I'll pick this up for you slide them over so over the back you can see this large uh, patch on the car and we look at we've done well here on the model the information here on the top left hand corner on the car but on the model doesn't have it um you do have the info name or number here and information for it to be in the correct location on the car also the stencils here on the car you have your fr reflecting stripes here and it appears to be in the same location as it would be on the uh, prototype come along the, do the double doors here AC had the green going down the from the bottom to the top and as it is done well here on the uh, model and also had the green come over top of the latch so it's pretty cool 
um, information on this door is uh, not here, but it is here on the bottom. Uh, on this side of the door, it has information here. All appears to be in the correct location on the model. Now, this car has a, a smaller uh, tech board here, this one and a large one, but the model just has the large one here. But we'll see in another photo if you know if it's missing or it's still there. So we'll, we'll see you later on. Uh, come across the Golden West services here, and you see you got the yellow it's faded, and it appears to be the actually the same color and uh, faded as it would be on the uh, prototype. So it's pretty good. Uh, come along here, you do have the information here on the car. We have information here, and you got your uh, blue board build uh, date sticker here, and you do have the information on the car. The, uh, both on the small and the um, large writing is here. So it's uh, pretty close to the model, looks pretty good, uh, my pain. Taking a look at the other photo, they had the car already tinted in the same way. Now, as I say about the door, now the prototype still has that tech board here on the door, but the model doesn't, so that can always be added. Um, come across here, now you see this is super faded here on the car. And take a look at the end of the car. If it bring over here, oops. There we can see that we got the road name, road number there. And you got the excessive height car here. And the white and the white paint is in the middle of the rib as it is for the uh, prototype. So this is a very accurate from the information here on the car. The stencil here, horizontal bar, well grab iron I should say. And you got your end ladders here. Uh, you got your handbrake in that blue tech board there. Uh, it doesn't have the information here in the middle as it would in the prototype, but you do have your uh, walkway, which is an edge metal part here on the car. Now I have another box car here. Of course, I looked it up with the road name, road number, and it's the date back in 2011. And you'll come back out here, and this is the box car in the appropriate orientation here. Uh, coming across the car in general, looks pretty good. Faded blue, as it would be with the uh, grime on the uh, box car. They come here with the road name and road number as a patch as it's both tight. Now this car comes with FR reflecting stripes going down the length of the car. And it does appear to match the model does appear to match the uh, prototype there with the FR reflecting stripes there. Um, information of the car is still not there. Now on the door, it has the tech board here. Put up for you. Tech board here. And this side here doesn't have it. So that's uh, pretty close to the um, prototype. Then looking at the Golden West service once again, like the, the faded blue and the yellow is a spot on. And of course the information here on the car. So it's a, a very good uh, looking car. Here we have another car here. Bring this up. Now looking at it again. Now this car, would you the how it looks you get it right out the um, packaging this is not under the proper ground this is you know the regular one so you're looking at the uh, road needle number how the space is exactly how it looks now the model doesn't have the fr reflecting stripes here now on the door you do have some information here appears to be you know appears to be the same as the uh, prototype the tech board here is in the correct location now this door doesn't have two, it just has one as per prototype. And you come across the Golden West services here. Uh, you see here is like stencil on. And here it is stencil on also. If you look closer, you can see the stencil. So it's just pretty good. The colors here, the information here on the car. Um, it's a pretty good looking um, model here. And this is back in 2009. But the prototype and the model number doesn't match as far as the, the NYC. Um, you look up NYC and the road number, and nothing comes up. We put the Conrail there with this road number. It does pop up, and this is what you get here. So um, off the bat, I know that this car is a definitely older style because that on the ends, it doesn't have these type of... Uh, 
then the card is, is not like that but you do have um you know the convo large convo local here the name the can opener logo here um bring it up a little bit and we do have the information about the car but you see here it's not uh matching up so i, I think that they used uh, the conroe in the box car color here and the step is on this uh this car body find this particular um road name road number online you had to take out the tape so that's what i did now looking at it the car body this car body doesn't match the prototypes car body this might be an older version of a 60 foot high key box car this might be the newer version but the body doesn't match but the paint scheme does so by me saying that you know look at the car body here on the ends to how this um flat with the ribs this is out with you know square this is rounded and more squared but um pink but the paint scheme though you know, it looks pretty good i like the paint scheme um you can go off the back you got the csx quality car uh, road name or number the information seems pretty correct here matching the um prototype coming across of course you got those outdoors slide this guy down a little more for you uh, a little information here that is on the car tag board there the lrcsx with the line is here on the car and you have the information here let's zoom in a little bit more information here now it does appear to be in the, um you know a good location let me do a little weathering project real quick this is a prime for ground cars you know before but also be careful that the stirrups are a stuffy pot piece and are plastic so uh, i already sprayed it here with the crawl on and i'm going to be giving a nice little uh, quick age with this uh, weathering wash so make sure you shake this up pretty good and i'm just going to just put it on the car trucks this is what i use here i picked this up at uh, walmart it's the cap to it you see that there so all i basically do is give me a brush of course dip it in and just paint the truck you see how that gray tone is already uh, faded but we're going to use this guy here and this <laughs> So here we have it, uh, using that uh, wash here and using this paint here I got from uh, Walmart there, the uh, chalk. And it's a little bit of wet and powder to do a little grease kick up there. And that pretty much was it there.